Good morning. Happy Monday after Thanksgiving. This is a weird day, isn't it? The week of Thanksgiving is very similar to the week between Christmas and New Year's. It's this sort of black hole of time where we're not really quite sure what day it is or what time it is or what's happening right now. And there's there's way too much food and usually way too many relatives and we're traveling and it's just a kind of a, a weird space uh, and time. And here we are on Monday and we got to get up and we got to go to work, maybe to a job we don't love or a job we do. And we got to get kids on the bus and they're not super excited about going back to school and it's dark and it's cold and all the things, but we can't change any of that today. We can change it, but we can't change any of it today. So what we can change is our emotion and our mindset around the things that we have to do. So you know what I'm gonna recommend, make your energize and just be about doing the thing. Take the emotion and the drama out of it. And if you don't love your life situation right now, then put some stuff in place to change it. You know, that's in your control. Be in the driver's seat. And get yourself some energize in your life because I don't even know how you're, you're making it through the Monday after Thanksgiving if you don't have energize in your life. I was thinking about what I wanted to share on this Monday. There's so much, there's so much I want to share um, because there was so much happening and I'm so excited. And, and last week I was using um, a DK. I chose, you know, I, cho I choose my cup specifically. I don't just kind of randomly go and just, well, sometimes I do. I let the universe choose for me, but most of the time I choose specifically because nothing is random. And last week I was using one called, um, this said girl on fire. And I think some people could misinterpret that as, oh, she thinks she's on fire. She's so awesome. No, I'm just on fire for life. And this morning I chose, you know, make the energized do the thing because I think we can get caught up in this negative spiral in our heads of fear talking and ego talking and uh, negativity talking that the Monday after Thanksgiving is so bad. You know what? We woke up today. We woke up today and it is the Monday after Thanksgiving. We got to celebrate a weekend with friends and family and we woke up today and we are smack dab in the middle of holiday magic. And I think that if you um, just change your perception and you get up and you make your energize and do your thing, that the whole day will change. But I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you today. So I went back and I was looking at some of the topics that over the past couple weeks, people have sent in to me, they messaged me, they shared with me, they've asked me, and I, I usually print that stuff off because I don't want to lose any of it. And one of the questions that popped out to me right away, uh, again, nothing is random, was how I built my business. Um, the other one, the one that's right next to it that says, how you make it all seem so easy with all the other craziness of day-to-day -day life. <laughs> I love that because um, people say that when they take my fitness classes. Oh my gosh, you make it look so easy. Well, I've worked really hard. Uh, to, I've worked really, really hard to teach uh, really good group fitness classes. And, I, and to clarify that, I mean, I want to give my class members really amazing experiences. So I've worked really hard to do that, to make it look like it's really easy when it's um, not. Um, but I don't, I don't know that... Um, it's funny that people say, how do you make it seem so easy with all the craziness of day-to-day -day life? I think that term, and I'm digressing a little bit because the other one I want to talk about was how you built your business, but I think that idea of life being so crazy is a mindset. And absolutely, absolutely, especially this time of year, life in the JV house has been crazy busy because there have been times when we've still been in season, so we've still, still had games on the schedule. Um, Jenna, our oldest, was in um, marching band or she was in choir or she had, she had performances because remember, December is a heavy month of performances. So if your kids are in any kind of performing arts and all three of mine were, are, were, um, then you are actually getting your kids to the things that other people are coming to see. So we've had years when we've still been playing, still had games on the schedule. Jenna would have her performing activities. Josie would be in the Nutcracker. She'd have her performing activities. And Jesse would also be in choir and she'd have her performing activities. One Saturday, I remember we had Nutcracker rehearsal, perform, I think a matinee. We had a game, a home game on Saturday. And we had a choir concert, uh, something was happening. That, like we had five activities in one. And the only one, of course, that my husband could be at was one. <laughs> He's coaching a game. So I had like five activities, but 
not just let me just get you there, but like hair had to be done, makeup had to be done, snacks had to be, so, so there have been times, especially this time of year, when life has been super crazy. And I don't know that I make it seem easy, but I think I do make it seem fun because there, and I don't know if it's because my parents were older when they had me, if that's always given me a different perspective on life, but I do believe that I've always had a very strong awareness of how fast time flies and the busy days. I don't have those like that anymore. I don't have those days where all three kids have a performance and we have a game and I've got to get, I've got to be doing party curls and makeup and what, and get snacks ready and I'll, I don't have that anymore. In fact, when the girls left yesterday, I said, this is going to be a weird couple weeks for me because I'm so used to, for 23, four years, the girls have all been in their performing arts activities and this month, uh, has been crazy busy with their stuff and, and I don't have that. This is the first time that I haven't had that in all those 20 plus years. So the next couple weeks, I thought, hmm, I'm gonna make sure that I deliberately put some extra stuff on my calendar, which ties into how I built my business. So we'll get to that in a minute. To, um, to just be aware of this, the, these next couple weeks maybe being a little off for me, just a little different for me, because I'm so used to all three girls having some sort of performance activity and running like crazy this month, and I don't have that this year. So that really ties into how I built my business because for 11 and a half years building a coaching business, I've done it with extremely busy children, like girls with high level performing arts activities, and a husband who's a collegiate football coach who's gone all the time. So I've been able to build this business that's changed our lives in these these tiny little bitty pieces of pockets of time over the past 11 and a half years. So now that I have some time, especially these next couple weeks before the girls come home again, three more weeks till they come home again, and I've got some time to really dive in even more and serve women and connect them with these tools at work. I've never had this time before. So that is really exciting to me. So maybe I should have used my, my girl on fire decal today, but uh, I am getting up and making energized and doing the thing because it's so exciting to me that life has been busy. I've never felt like it was overwhelmingly busy. I've always had such an appreciation for how fun it is because um, I have a, a strong awareness of how fast it goes. Um, also, I think sometimes when you lose a parent, like my, my dad passed away um, when Jesse was born, the year Jesse was born, and sometimes maybe when you lose a parent, so you have an even stronger awareness of how fast time flies. So the busyness of their schedules, I loved. I absolutely loved. And then I just found ways to build my business in those pockets of time because my business then fueled their activities. So I built my business in these pockets of time to to fuel not only my passions and goals and dreams for my family, but their passions and goals and dreams. And I, I was reading a post yesterday on social from my dear friend, Melanie, and she was talking about how she built her business. So, so funny that I happened to read that post yesterday. And then I got up and I pulled out these papers where I printed some of your messages. And the first one I saw was how I built my business. And I thought, gosh, it feels like if you've been following me for any length of time, you know, but but why? Why would you know that? Do you know that as consumers, as people who buy, because we all buy, we need to hear or know or learn about something seven or eight times before we say yes to it. Isn't that so interesting? And it's interesting to me too, especially because I've been doing this 11 and a half years and there are still people in my life that I see on the regular who know that I've changed my life with this business, who know they could change their life with this business, who know that having a fitness option in their home could be a beautiful compliment to anything else they do, who know they freaking need some energize in their life, who know they need a superfood shake in their life. There are people that I've known the entire length of time doing this business who still are letting fear and doubt lead the way and, and not saying yes to having these tools in their lives. And Part of that is what keeps me on fire for waking up every day because I so to my bone believe that every single female, especially on this planet, needs the Beachbody On Demand in your home 
energize, recover, collagen, Shakeology. I think you need all the things in your life because it will enhance your life. I think you need the business opportunity in your life because that gives you an, another community of incredible people to lift you up, to support you, to empower you, to inspire you, to challenge you to live your best life, That where you might be able to create some income to help your family too. I think every single human being on the planet needs this in their life. And yet there are still people who heard my story probably more than seven or eight times and still let doubt and fear lead the way. Y'all, a major financial institution <laughs> tapped me to share my story on their page. I, I don't know how much more legitimate <laughs> this can be um, they, <laughs> than a film crew in your home for two days videotaping your entire story of how you changed your life with this business. And it's on freaking Yahoo with like 200,000 views on it. I don't know how much more legitimate this business can be when someone says, well, I just don't know if it'll work. Are you freaking kidding me? Like Capital One thinks it works. So there's, that's part of what gets me up every single morning and drives me, even on the Monday after Thanksgiving, because I know, I know there are people who wake up this morning and don't want to go back to their job, who feel just like crap after a weekend of eating too much and drinking too much and don't have the tools to get back on track, who don't have a community to support them. And here we are amidst this, you know, as, as Nicole said, a crazy busy time of life. And how do we integrate health and fitness? How do we build the business and all of that? I'm telling you, my friends, I have done it for 11 years and I have done it in pockets of time building a business, but I've done it also by making sure that my workout happens every day, non-negotiable, my shake happens every day, that I tap into the power of the community that I have around me, sometimes um, not as much as I should, and I need, and that's a powerful reminder to do it more, that this, this community that we have that we can tap into will always, always hands down make us better. And I do it by just literally making the energize and getting up and doing the thing. I don't dramatize it, I don't emotionalize it, I don't get swept up in you know, the it, thinking that this is so crazy or busy or whatever, I just literally make the energize and do the thing and I keep showing up. And as um, Anna says in Frozen 2, I keep working to take the next right step. And that is how I've built a business that has changed our lives over 11 and a half years. And I know that if you have followed me for any length of time, you, you know that that's what I say constantly, that this business has changed my life. And maybe you haven't heard me say it seven or eight times, so I wanna make sure that I am saying it so that you understand this business has changed our lives. But maybe you're thinking, I don't, I don't need something that monumental in my life right now. I don't need to overhaul my life or change my life right now. Awesome. Maybe what you just need are the tools in your life to enhance your life that could lead to life change down the road at some point. But here's the deal, we never know until we say yes. And I know there are people getting up this morning wishing their life was just different in some way, just in some way, not, not oh, I wish I lived in a hut on Bora Bora way, but just, just in some way. And yet they're still letting fear sit in the driver's seat for whatever reason. I've been reading a lot of Gabby Bernstein books and Something she talks about a lot is how comfortable fear is. And if I can do anything today, I wanna to encourage you to be aware of where you're letting fear sit in the driver's seat and kick it out of the driver's seat and you take the wheel. Because when you take the wheel, suddenly life doesn't seem so crazy. You're in control. You can, can make the decision to get up every morning with positive mindsets and positive attitude and make the energize and do the thing and love your life because you know you are co-creating it every single day. And when fear sits in the driver's seat, it's really hard to do that. But when we kick fear out and we take the wheel and we let love lead, we let passion lead, we let positivity lead, everything can change. So how do I make it seem so easy? I, I, none of, nothing is, is easy, but, but also, I don't think it's hard because the hard comes from our mindset and 
I just, I don't think that, I think there are challenging moments in life. Y'all have lost a parent. Um, I, it, it is, there are challenging moments of, in life. But I think the more positive we view life, the, the why shouldn't life be easy per se? Why shouldn't the universe have our back? Why shouldn't we be successful? Instead of saying, I think I said this on an Instagram story a while ago, instead of saying, you know, a lot of people will say, why me? When they get all, you know, in their anxiety and stuff, which is very common this time of year. And then often people will say, well, why don't you say, why not me? You know, why not me to create my life? The, the phrase that I like better than that is, of course me. Of course I can be in control of my life. Of course me, of course the universe wants me to succeed. Of course God has given me gifts and skills and light and energy to share. Of course me. And if you could get up every single day with that attitude, of course the universe wants me to succeed. Of course it does. Life doesn't seem so crazy. And the idea of just stepping into an opportunity with some fitness and some nutrition in the community doesn't seem so scary, because it's not. Because it's not that scary. It's really amazing. And so on this Monday after Thanksgiving, I encourage you, I encourage you, make the energize, do the thing. And if you don't love the thing that you're doing, get some stuff in place to, to change that. And if you can't change that, then change your mind about it. And that seems so trite, but I guarantee you, that's what makes the difference. That's what makes the difference. It's literally how I've been able to navigate um, a, a very busy and amazing life with three very busy and amazing daughters and a husband who's gone all the time who also has a busy and amazing career and how I've been able to build a business over 11 and a half years that has changed our lives from sitting on a blue bench in the Waukesha Family YMCA in Waukesha, Wisconsin to this kitchen table right here where I started my business 11 and a half years ago in this very house that has completely on every level changed our lives. It starts with fitness. It starts with saying yes to fitness. It starts with saying yes to fitness. It starts with saying yes and taking the next right step. I hope for you that's saying yes to my group and getting ready for bar blend. Just saying yes and not letting fear sit in the driver's seat. This is a magical, magical time of year, made more magical by our mindset and our spirit and our energy going into it. I know that there can be festive stress. I've lived it, I've experienced it. I lived a lot of years with anxiety and stress in these two months. Even at the same time, I was loving everything that my girls were doing and, and loving these life experiences. There were other pieces of the holiday season that gave me anxiety and stress. And uh, life is different now. And I, I want that to be the same for you. I want you to get up every morning and be a girl on fire. I want you to get up every morning and make your energize and do your thing and love your life. And I think that starts with fitness and I always will. And if you followed me for any length of time, that will always be my message. I think it starts with fitness and then I think it leads to life change. So let's head into these last 30 days of 2019 with a mindset of love and energy and light and openness. Let's, for once in our life, kick fear to the curb, get rid of it, push it out of the driver's seat, and let's focus on the next right step, saying yes. Saying yes to you, saying yes to opportunity, saying yes to, to hope, to confidence, and to a brand new decade that is just around the corner. Happy Monday.